Kenya is the new giant of Africa. I'm not even speaking out. The only thing that a Nigerian youth is proud of is, is his useless Android phone or iPhone and it data and the TikTok account. I am Nigerian and I'm saying that Kenya is the new giant of Africa. I'm telling you. Kenyan youths 10, Nigerian youths zero. It's an honorable member. No, don't don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Take a don't for interrupt this. honorable don't member. This. You heard me right. Kenyan youths 10, Nigerian youths zero. I'm telling you. So the government of Kenya increased taxes so as to pay debts being owed to foreign bodies. And the youths of Kenya said, no way. We are not going to pay that debt. You're not going to make life more harder than it is. And they went to the streets and they protested. Till results came out, the government canceled the bill. The government readjusted, canceled the funding for the first lady, suspended so many things to save money. Kenyan youths did that. Kenya is the new giant of Africa. I'm not here speaking out. Kenya is the new giant of Africa. As I'm not here you speaking out. I am Nigerian and I'm saying that Kenya is the new giant of Africa. The only way a country can get better is by holding government accountable, is by standing out to say no to wrong policies. That happened in Kenya. But Nigeria is a totally tragic different story. Over 60% of Nigerians are living in abject poverty, in fact, below poverty line. Now we shift focus to Nigeria. The West African nation is witnessing its worst economic crisis in a generation. Food inflation, 40%. After all, we were described as the poverty capital of the, of the world. Nigeria is a sad... I don't know how to describe Nigeria and Nigerian youths. Nigerian youths just want to wake up every day to catch crews. Want to go to Instagram, TikTok to do some TikTok dance, some Instagram cruise catching and all of that. They just want to have fun. And Nigeria is currently in a place that is 10 times worse than Kenya. Unreliable electricity supply, complex bureaucracy are adding to the challenge of doing business in Nigeria. The average Nigerian life is 10 times less of value now than what it was 10 years ago when Good Luck Jonathan was still in power. Everything has tripled. Cost of living is over the roof. People can no longer feed in Nigeria. There is intense hunger in the land. Look at the way things is. The way people are, sure, people are even complaining about hungry. Customers will come, no cash. There is endless, hopeless, massive hunger in Nigeria. And what are the youths of Nigeria doing? Fighting each other on the internet, insulting each other. Talking about Davido getting married, talking about Saida Bodge, talking about Davido's baby mama. Those are the things that are priority now to Nigerian young people. The only thing that a Nigerian youth is proud of is, is his useless Android phone or iPhone and the data and the TikTok account. What are the Nigerian youth helpful of? What are people in our church say, yes, we Nigerian youth we are 100% helpful in this aspect? Zero. Only data, your cheap iPhone or your cheap Android phone and competition online. That is what Nigerian youth knows how to do. Wherever direction the country is taken to, it does not concern them anymore. They just want to talk about this and talk about that. Gossips, that is all that attracts them now. That is all they want to flow into their ears. When they are not gossiping, they are fighting each other. They're fighting each other over tribe. They're fighting each other over religion. They are blaming Peter Obi, who is not even president, who is not holding any political office. What a time to be a Nigerian youth. The same country that raised the likes of the Wale Show Inca, the Shinu Achebe, who stood for something. The same country. Unfortunately, the same country has turned some of those same old men who stood for something into people who are now standing for corrupt governments. Nigerians, think. It's not going to cost you anything. It's free. Think. My name is Nev Harrison, and I hope I have made common sense. Subscribe to this channel. Until next time. Bye -bye. Let's face the emergent problem. What are the emergent problems? The fact now that the president is saying he wants to buy two jets now for him and the vice president at a time where the country is bleeding dry. Also, the fact that as we speak today, most Nigerians could not celebrate Salah. Do you know how expensive transportation is?